Hi kids! Welcome to Teacher Beth Class TV! English Today, we're going to discuss about sequence of events. In this lesson, you will be able to learn and understand sequencing of events. Are you ready? What comes to your mind when you hear the word sequence? The word sequence means the order or arrangement in which things happen. Studying the arrangement of events in a correct order is called sequencing of events. Let's see if you can follow the correct steps in preparing a sandwich. What must you do first? That's right. First, prepare two slices of bread and the jam. What must you do after? You are correct. Number two, is spread the jam on the first slide of bread. What must you do next? Of course, in number three, you're going to put the two slices of bread together. What will be the last thing you must do? Well, finally, take a bite out of your sandwich. did you do it? By following the steps correctly. Yes, you have to follow the right steps in proper order from start to end. Now, let's take a look at these pictures and try to figure out the correct order of events. Let's put numbers 1 to 4 inside the box. Ravers Day When reading, you need to follow a certain order as well. The events of a story in order from first to last is called the sequence of events. The sequence of events helps you retell the most important parts of the story in order. Now, let's read this short story carefully. Let's examine the sequence of events in the story. At the Pond I went to the pond last Sunday. I saw a lot of things at the pond. I saw a yellow duckling swimming in the pond. I saw the green frog hop on a lily pad. There was a pretty white swan at the pond. I also made a boat float on the pond. I will go to the pond again next week. Now, let's see if you can arrange the events happened in the story in correct order. 
Let's check your answer. What happened first? I went to the pond. What happened next? I saw a yellow duckling. What happened then? I saw the green frog. What happened last? I made a boat float. We use sequence words to show the order in which things happen. Time order words are essential to help readers determine when an event happened. When reading a story, you can look for these time order words to figure out when events occurred in relation to each other. Let's take a look at sequence words that can help you to figure out when something happens. My morning routine First, I wake up at 6.30 a.m. Next, I eat my breakfast. Then, take a bath. Finally, I brush my teeth and get dressed. What are the words used in the story to tell the order of events? The words used in the story to tell the order of events are First, First is a good example of sequence words found at the beginning of a story. This word is a signal that tell you a story is starting. Next and then. Next and then are sequence words that might be found in the middle of a story. They signal that a new event is being described. Finally, finally is an example of a sequence word that tells the end of a story. Again, these are the signal words or sequence words. Arrange the events in proper order by putting numbers 1 to 4 inside the box. Lace flowers. How does Lei get ready for dinner? Lester wins the race. How does Lance use the toilet?
Who is on my bed? I went to see who was on my bed. I saw a pig on my bed. I said, Get off pig. I put the pig out, but a dog was on my bed. Get off dog, I said. Then, I saw the cat on my bed. I put the cat out. Now, it is me on my bed. Thank you for joining me. Let's learn, play, and grow together. Teacher Beth Class TV Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.